Hi, this is Dr. Doug, and what I'd like to talk to you today about is Invisalign. Now, most of you know by now that Invisalign is a way to straighten your teeth, correct your bite, align your teeth um, without having braces. And in a nutshell, how Invisalign works is there is a series of clear, custom-made plastic aligners or trays that you wear typically between one and two weeks each to eventually straighten your teeth. Each one builds on the improvement of the last tray until you get to the end, the desired result. Now, the important thing that I want everyone to understand about Invisalign is despite the marketing, which they do great marketing in Invisalign directly to the public, to doctors, um, it's not simply a product that you can buy that is the same no matter where you purchase it. It's not like going to your local drugstore and buying Crest White Strips to whiten your teeth, um, which is an identical product no matter which store you purchase it in. Invisalign is really a tool that an orthodontist typically will use instead of braces in select cases um, to achieve the goals of alignment and correcting of your body. And 10 different doctors who use Invisalign will give you 10 different results. I'm not saying which ones are better or some are wrong or some are correct, but they are all going to be different and some more so than others. And what I want everyone to understand is I'm going to take you a little bit behind the scenes on how we actually plan and treat an Invisalign case. So the first thing we do um, is we take a set of records. We need a starting point. And what that means is that we take a set of digital photographs of the patient's face, of the patient's teeth from different angles. Um, we take two specific x-rays, uh, what we call a panoramic x-ray and a cephalometric, cephalometric x-ray, um, which typically an orthodontist is the only one who will most often take those x-rays or even has those machines in their office. Um, the last part of what we need is is to get a, a physical record of the teeth. And some orthodontists or dentists are still using what we call impressions, um, where you take a mold of the patient's teeth and mail it into Invisalign the company. Um, the newest technology is to use what we call a, a digital scanner, um, such as the machine you see behind me right now here, um, which takes an optical scan with no radiation of your teeth. It's quicker than impressions. Um, it's easier on the patient. And most importantly, it's more accurate. So it really helps orthodontists who use one of these machines to deliver uh, better fitting trays, which means better uh, treatment results and more efficient results in the end. Um, but once we have all those records, okay, we take them and we upload them to the website for Invisalign. And we don't just send them the records and tell them to straighten the teeth. Um, we give Invisalign detailed instructions on what our treatment goals are. And a lot of that is obtained from the patient directly when we speak to the patient during our first consultation. Um, because even though we as, a, as doctors know what we think we should achieve for the patient by looking at their teeth and their face, um, patients will often have what we call a chief complaint, which is maybe something we're not definitely focused on in the beginning. Um, so we not only have to make sure that we're going to address what the chief complaint is and work that in uh, to the treatment, but also make sure that we're going to deliver a comprehensive and safe plan that's going to make the patient happy and make the patient's teeth uh, overall hopefully healthier than when they started. Um, so once we take these records, we upload them to Invisalign with detailed instructions through their website on what we want to achieve. Um, their lab techs will then take our instructions and our records and send us back what we call a clean check, which is basically a 3D simulation of the whole treatment process um, from what each aligner does till the end. And we can actually click through on the sample you see behind me and it, it will play like a little movie on from every angle we can view it on what actually is going to change during the treatment, what each tray does. Now I can tell you that the lab techs who do this are highly trained to use the software um, to make the teeth look proper on the screen. That by no means means it's going to work in the patient's mouth or it is even achievable. That's where the doctor's role comes in. So we submitted our instructions based on what the patient told us and what we think should be done. 
and now we're going to refine this. We're going to zone this in and make adjustments on the initial clin check until we're happy that it achieves all our goals um, that the patient wanted to achieve and that us as doctors wanted to achieve for the patient. I can, I can tell you from experience, I've never, ever in 11 years approved the first version of the clin check from the company. Um, the average case, I will probably adjust four to five times, in some cases up to seven or eight or nine times, um, simply because the, the, we're, not on the, we're not getting exactly what I want or what the patient wants. Um, and the techs aren't producing that for whatever reason in that case. Um, so once we've gone through multiple revisions and we're happy with not only the result, but the path the teeth, the teeth take to get to that result, that's almost just as important. Um, it's not about the start point and the end point, it's about the path you take um, because the path allows things to work properly, the path allows things not to interfere when you bite down uh, with each other. Um, the path really provides the safety um, as well as the end result, um, also providing a, a, a healthy and a safe occlusion or a safe bite. Um, so once we are happy, we approve the case and Align Technology or Invisalign are going to generate these trays for us. Um, and mail them to our office uh, for us to deliver to our patient um, at the select intervals that we think is appropriate to change them. Um, so the important thing that I want you to really get out of this is that Invisalign itself is not a product. It's not like white strips. It's not um, a, per a product that you purchase from, from a doctor. What you're purchasing, if you want to look at it that way, is you're purchasing treatment and expertise um, to help you achieve the goals with your teeth that you want. In a safe in a safe way and the reason I want to make this clear is that you don't have to be an orthodontist to provide Invisalign treatment for patients general dentists can do this as well um, now an orthodontist will go through three more years of training just on orthodontics more so than a, than a dentist will who, who will go to four years of dental school orthodontists also become dentists first in the same four years of dental school and then we do an additional three years of residency where we're solely treating patients orthodontically, whether it be with braces or Invisalign. And then when we go into practice, we're solely doing orthodontics. So you can see how we're going to refine our skills over the years and get better and better uh, at, at what we do. Um, now, I'm not here to tell you that general dentists cannot provide good Invisalign treatment. That's, that's the furthest thing from the truth. Um, and I have a lot of friends who are general dentists who will treat successfully their patients with Invisalign, um, but they know what their limitations are and they know certain cases are easier than others and a lot of them will call me up, show me a case um, for advice on how to treat it or even if they should treat it and I can tell you they're really high quality dentists because they're asking to help the specialist uh, to help give their patient the best treatment possible or refer them out when they, when they know it's, it's, it's just really out of their comfort zone or out of what they really should be treating in their office. Um, so. You have to decide for yourself um, if you have your general dentist do this or if you think you're, you're, you're best treated by a specialist and a, and, a, and a good honest dentist will help you make that decision yourself too. Um, but what I want to really talk about a little bit more is that there are some companies out here now that are marketing directly to the public as a DIY, as a do-it-yourself uh, Invisalign type treatment. And there's, there are more and more companies that are starting to do this. Um, some are more successful than others right now, but uh, it's basically unsupervision or orthodontic treatment. And it, it's not something that I would promote or be in favor of. And the company will tell you that it's cheaper. And it is. It's way cheaper than going to a doctor. Um, and they'll tell you the benefit is that you never have to go to a doctor's office and waste your time in a doctor's office. Um, get the smile you wanted and, and, and with less money and, and, and less time commitment. But I'm here to tell you those things are what you should want. You should want to go to a doctor. You should want to speak to a doctor. You should want your treatment monitored and controlled by an actual orthodontist. Um, now, let me take you through the steps of what they, how they'll do this for you. They will send you an impression kit in the mail with small, a, a quick instruction on how to take your own impression. And I can tell you, one of the hardest things learning initially with Invisalign, you know, 11 years ago was to take a proper impression. 
Um, if the impression is no good, the treatment has no success, uh, has zero chance of success. Um, and you never get to really tell them what you want to achieve. Now, what they'll tell you is that they'll take your impression and they'll produce a very similar check, clean check, to what you see here. Um, and they'll tell you it will be reviewed and approved by a licensed dental professional. Now, most of the time that does not mean they're an orthodontist. Um, it can be an orthodontist, most likely is a general dentist. Um, but how long, and this is, a, I'm not going to answer this question because I don't have the answer, but how long do you think a dentist is going to sit and review your case when they never have to see you um, and they're never going to be face to face with you in their office? Especially when they have all their own patients who they're going to see and, their first, and that's their first priority. Um, doctors who contract with these companies are paid anywhere maybe from $50 to $100 to review a case and click approve. And that's how, that's the quality control that this goes through. Okay. So I can't tell you you shouldn't do it. Um, I could advise you, I think it's a really bad idea because so many things can go wrong in orthodontic treatment. Um, not only the end result might not be what you want, but you might be left in, in a poor occlusion or a poor bite. Um, aside from that, not looking the way you want. Um, if you have any level of gum disease, periodontal disease, which is largely undiagnosed in our population, and you have orthodontic treatment, it doesn't matter what kind of orthodontic treatment, you're risking tooth loss. Um, and so the plan might not be a proper plan. And if it's not proper, you're, again, you're not being supervised by anybody. Not only are you not seeing a, a, a orthodontist or a dentist, you are not allowed to ever know or contact who your dentist or orthodontist was who, who supposedly planned this case for you. Um, and one thing I want to share before we finish up here is this is an actual post from a Facebook user page for one of these companies. And what they, and what they, this, 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 I'll call her a, I won't call her a patient, I'll just call her a customer because she's not under the care of, of a doctor. Um, went to the dentist, he couldn't believe how perfect my top teeth are, but let's talk about the bottom. The aligners cause so much mobility in the front that I will lose a tooth. Need a bridge and a crown in my four front teeth. The aligners move my teeth so bad that I have to wait a month to stabilize the semi-bad teeth so I can extract the bad tooth and the others will hold a new crown. Total cost out of pocket, 2000 after insurance. Okay. So this is one of the many um, sad disaster stories that we're starting to see. Um, in our offices to retreat these patients um, on social media because people are posting these things like crazy out there now. Um, so do it yourself orthodontics, especially with something like these clear aligners that these companies are starting to promote and sell. Um, it, it is really, in, in my professional opinion, a really bad idea and really unsafe. Um, so go to a licensed orthodontist for your treatment. Do your research, do your homework, look at their reviews, talk to people who've used them. Ask to see the results. Um, use a specialist. Research them. Make sure you're comfortable in their office. Make sure you're comfortable with the doctor. And make sure that you've gotten uh, good referrals as far as other patients or other doctors. Um, and uh, hopefully they can create the smile that you deserve and, and, and a safe smile that you deserve. Um, thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you again. Um, in our next uh, discussion on the, on the next question that we want to answer. Thank you.